I am ready, Bob. The truth is, I've only had one love affair with a cowboy. He was a real cowboy, but he wasn't a rodeo cowboy. It was a short-lived love affair because, well, he didn't love me back. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the story I'm going to tell you tonight. My love affairs with cowboys is bigger than one love story. Cowboys are the classic American archetype. They epitomize what I love in men. I love seeing people's lives and capturing emotions. I shoot weddings, parties, portraits, and editorial stories. I get to shoot living legends at rodeos. On July 2nd, 1991, I took my camera and went to my first rodeo in Livingston. It was the same year that I moved to Montana and started my photo career. I grew up in the inner city and the only cowboys that I had ever seen were the ones that my mother watched on television. 30 years later, I found myself at the world famous Mile City Bucking Horse Sale with a press pass hanging around my neck, taking photographs in the dirt. I was literally petrified of being run over by a bucking horse. This is the, my favorite picture that I've ever taken in my entire career. His expression changed me. I get paid to photograph lavish parties all around the world. These days, I honestly get more excited to shoot rodeos in Montana, laying on the earth in horse shit <laughs> to get the right angle grounds me. Um, horses kick dirt and mud all over my body and into my hair, and it takes me days to get it out. Last summer, I drove 1,500 miles in my red Mazda Miata convertible to shoot 13 rodeos in Montana. I get butterflies in my belly, put my top down, turn my music up, and start to drive. It feels like I'm going on a first date every time, and I never can predict how thrilling the evening is going to be. Raise your hand if you've ever ridden a horse. Keep your hand raised if you've ever been bucked off a horse. There's a fair number of you. <laughs> you kind of know what it's like to ride a, a bucking horse, but not really. I hope my photographs make you feel all of the emotions that these cowboys do. I photograph all events at rodeos, but visually bronc riders fascinate me most. Every ride ends in one of three scenarios. Either the bronc bucks the rider off, or if he makes the whistle, he'll either jump off the horse or jump into the arms of a well-respected pickup man. Most rodeo cowboys have deep roots in, in rodeos. They start riding and being bucked off of sheep at a very young age. For many, riding the circuit is a family tradition. Their fathers and their grandfathers competed against one another. Everyone stands with their hats off while a young woman sings our national anthem and the rodeo queen flies our flag around the arena. Every person bows their head in prayer. These rituals unite us. People sit, the gate opens, and the saddle bronc rider explodes into the arena and everybody in the crowd goes crazy. These athletes compete in one of the most dangerous sports in the world. They are more likely than football players to suffer severe injuries and unlike other professional athletes, they don't travel with a team of dietitians, trainers, or mental performance coaches. <laughs> they are each other's support system. Riders have a brotherly love. They are family on the road, competitors in the arena. I took a few photos of Lefty Holman just before he and two friends jumped into an old pickup to, to drive to the next rodeo 16 hours away. Together, they'll drive over 60,000 miles a year. Behind the chutes, there is an overwhelming feeling of camaraderie. Cowboys ready themselves. They, tape, they wrap their injuries with tape, pour baby powder in their boots, and buckle their custom shafts. They practice on their saddles in the dirt before they ride. They walk onto the platform behind the chute with focus. When the cowboy nods and the gate opens, anything can happen. I've seen horses rear, take a misstep, and roll onto the rider. At those moments, every cowboy in the arena runs to help. It's beautiful to see gentlemen step up and put themselves in harm's way in order to help others without pause. Cowboys are men in the traditional sense. <laughs> <laughs> they tenaciously follow their dreams, live with integrity, and face their fears while continuing a dangerous family tradition. They do what they know. 
They keep the cowboy way of life alive. Rodeo cowboys can dance, just like professional dancers. In one, dan in one season, they will dance with over 100 beautiful bucking broncs that are bred to, to do just that. They are partners, and when they are in sync, it is like they're floating through air. And when they aren't, all hell breaks no loose. I'm experimenting with ways to tell their intoxicating stories. Time stops in my images. I see exhilaration and fear. I see relationships of shapes and forms. I see bodies, shafts, and hats defy gravity. I see the sheer power of these bucking horses move the earth. Cowboys always tip their hats and say yes ma'am when I ask to take their photo. Last year, two pickup men, brothers in their 40s, politely declined. Moments later, with their heads bowed, they came over and said that their mother told them that they had to have their picture taken. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboys respect their mom. I remember my mom watching True Grit and John Wayne saying, courage is being scared to death and saddling up anyway. I watched cowboys getting hurled into the dirt. They brushed the, dirt, the dust off of their shafts and miraculously walk up off of the arena. They have grit that isn't common among us mere mortals. You can call, email, or follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see more photos. They will be in an art exhibit in Livingston in January and featured in the Big Sky Journal soon. The lives of these living legends captivate me. I hope my photographs make you pause and feel the same emotions.